Hello Capricorn, welcome to your forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a general reading, love money career for the period beginning the 22nd of March. Because it is a general reading, may not resonate with all of you, so you might want to take a look at the forecast for your moon sign or your rising sign. I'll help you get a bigger picture. Apologies, I'm having my six shot espresso here. Oh yeah, it's morning. It's great. Mmm. Delicious. Okay, if it does resonate with you, if you want me to resonate with your energy, or if you want to claim the reading, throw a comment below the video. And I want to thank you for liking and subscribing so YouTube can find my new channel. I really appreciate that. Whoa, that flew out. <laughs> okay, if this is your first time coming, know that I channel messages from spirit. I have an army, a plethora, a gaggle, whatever you want to call it. I got a lot of them, okay? And this is an energy-driven, spirit-driven reading. It is not your typical tarot. They are guiding me. They're, they're writing messages to me while we're doing the, the, the reading. Also, for some strange reason, I'm getting some of your past loved ones, <laughs> some of your uh, spirits, uh, for some of you that are guided to the video, they laugh, they sing, they show me things I really don't want to see, you know, stuff. Just trying to get my attention, okay? They want you to know that when we transition out of the physical body, it is not the end, okay? We, uh, we continue. And, um, you know, the next time you see or experience a presence in your place, ask who it is. Maybe it's just Aunt Sally coming to say hello. Just never know. All right, so for the period beginning, 22nd of March for Capricorn. Let's see what we got. Okay. All right, Spirit, show me something good. All right, well, Knight of Swords. Hmm. Drama, drama, drama. All right, Ten of Rods. Gotta make it fun, kids. Nine of Swords. Okay. Hmm. I see homework. Okay. Um, that is the Seven of Coins. Nice. Followed by the Eight of Rods. Gonna be good. Oh, yeah. And the Two of Rods. I know we're gonna pull more. Let's just throw them over here. All right, so we're starting out the period, maybe before the period, or maybe as you're getting into this period, you're getting sucked into some drama, some roller coaster drama, ups and downs and BS and blah, 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 blah. Why? Not maybe of your doing. Um, for some of you, I do not see you blowing things out of proportion. I do you see you getting sucked in to someone else's BS, someone else's drama, maybe because... They're doing something to make you feel bad about where you're going as you're moving forward. Because you are moving forward. And some people aren't. So we have this weird way in, in the physical form because we don't understand that we are beautiful, true love, beautiful beings to suck people in with those Earth A emotions. When I say Earth Age emotions, you know, Fear, anger, worry, you know, judgment, you know, you make people feel bad because it gives you a kick and, you know, it makes them, you know, discouraging to them. And so because of this, you're feeling overburdened in what it is that you're doing. You're, you're, you have this idea, you have this plan, you're moving forward and someone's trying to squash your dream, you know, and, and it's interesting because, uh, you know, things things that are going on are having you up at night. You're waking up with that 3 a.m. wake-up call. With some, You have some anxiety there. And you know what you want. So, Spirit is saying, hey, we know what you want. Okay? Why don't you be more decisive, confident in what it is that you actually want? And you've already taken steps to go in that direction. So spirit is saying, hey, 
let's continue on with all that good progress, you know, moving forward in that in that direction. Um, apologies, somebody just came up to say hello. Here is the here is somebody's paw right here. She's about four pounds, and um, she gets a little nervous when all the spirits are in the house. I apologize, but uh, I guess she's going to finish the reading with us. Um, okay. And no, it is not a cat. It's one of the smallest dogs in the world. So what Spirit is saying is focus on your goals. You know what you want. Again, if you don't really know what you want, you want to strengthen that want, go to the Dollar Tree, get yourself a dollar notebook, keep talking about that, and write it down. Write down what are your goals. Have some interim goals, have some long-term goals. If your only goal is winning the Powerball, have fun with that. Most people need more in their life than that, okay? Maybe some kind of purpose. Maybe some way to help people move forward. Maybe something that will help society, all right? Actually, physically, flow of exchange of ideas. And I'm getting from spirit that some of you have some great ideas from some great uh, ways to help the community, uh, small business, entrepreneurship, um, helping the family, uh, I see beautiful things with homes. Okay, keep up the good work. Keep the focus. Don't. It is not time to relax and let go. It is. This is not the right time for that. This is not the time to say, "Hey, well, you know, I'm just going to sit on my laurels for a while." No, I don't think so. Okay. You know, it, this card usually comes up when we 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 talk about focus on career on the goals or work through a particular um, tedious stage of um, of a project. So, you know, maybe you guys are feeling tired and maybe because of some of this stuff, you're feeling a little bit deflated, but it's the, it, you know, the reward will come as long as you don't falter. All right. I can't say that better myself. Thank you, spirit. So, and if you can do that, you know, you've got the eight of rods, eight of rods, man, eight of rods. That's like the, one of the best, um, cards in the deck, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a positive card. It brings lot. Oh, I'm sorry. It brings lots of communication. Uh, you may be inundated with emails and calls and exciting offers related to whatever it is that you're working on here, you know, and you'll soon have some positive news. You know, maybe you've been waiting, you know, all your projects are growing wings and then moving swiftly forward. So be prepared for the shift. Okay. Uh, sometimes the events will be a little frantic. Well, that's just going to energize you even more. All right. If you can catch where I'm going with this, it's really going to be something that's going to be delicious. And then you'll really start making plans and moving forward. You're really going to start solidifying your plans in this area. And you're going to have new partnerships related to that. You know, um, it, it's it's about new partnerships and new relationships that you are creating. It's about a harmonious partnership, a peaceful partnership. Not some of that drama, drama, drama. Not some of that nonsense, you know, as, as you're making these plans and moving forward. Um, hmm, okay, Spirit saying one more card. Okay, we've got the chariot. What is the chariot the symbol of? Moving forward. Hello. Ding, ding, ding. Wake up. Look at this guy. He's got the big fat, you know, he's got the good strong horses. He's got a tight grip on the reins. He knows where he's going. And so do you. Okay. This is about navigating forward. And maybe for your, you know, you guys are going to be traveling a little bit. You certainly are improving um, opportunities coming your way with business. They might be challenging, but they'll be exciting. You've got progress. You've got relationship progress with this new partnership. Okay. Um, you've got welcoming people. What are you, I'm trying to get this message from spirit. Welcoming people in from, uh, different, a different state. Maybe somebody's coming in from a different state. I'm not sure if it's dealing with the business or something uh, on a personal level, but I see that. I see much improvement in the home space because of this as well. 
All right, cool beans, very cool. All right, what do we have for our spirit card? We have Pallas Athena. What is Pallas Athena saying? <laughs> Detach from drama. Oh, I love it. Spirit, you are such a card. Okay, it's all about detaching from drama. Earth A emotions, all the BS. And getting into the Earth B. I appreciate where I am right now, but gee, Spirit, wouldn't it be nice if dot, 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 whatever, fill in the blank. Wouldn't it be nice if I had enough money to buy whatever I want whenever I want to buy it? That would be great. This way I'm not limiting myself. Hey, I really appreciate where I am right now, Spirit, but gee, wouldn't it be nice if I could have the most wonderful lover boyfriend who's financially secure, positive, and encouraging and single? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Gee, Spirit, I really appreciate where I am right now, but wouldn't it be nice if um, I, I don't know, dot, 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 fill in the blank. Do you get it? I think you do. All right, kids, that's all I've got. Thanks again for liking and subscribing. See you next time. Take care.